In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to functions and formulas in Excel. Now, what a function or formula allows you to do is to manipulate the data within certain cells and output that data. Or it also allows you to add, subtract, perform mathematical functions on numbers. So what I have here is just a random set of numbers. And I'm going to give you an example of some simple formulas and simple functions that you can perform. So say that you want to add those numbers up and either you don't want to do it by calculator or you have a lot more numbers than 6. How you can do it with a function is very simple and it only takes a few seconds. Now <clears throat> what I have here is a sum function and a formula. So I'm going to do another function real quick to get the average of those numbers. And you have the average. So that's an example of what you can do with them. Now I'm going to explain how you create one. First, you always have to have an equal sign in the cell. Without an equal sign, it's not going to do anything. Then the next thing you need is to determine what function you want to perform. So, like I did earlier, do you want to sum it? which would add all of these numbers or do you want an average there are many other things you can do standard deviations etc etc um, the next step you want to do after you have a function is you need to have an open parentheses and you'll notice once you have an open parentheses that Excel tells you exactly what you need so as long as you type average incorrectly it'll tell you you need a number separated by commas with an end parentheses. Now for average, I don't just want to add up separate numbers or random cells throughout the worksheet. I want to add up a range. So what I do after I've typed in the open parentheses is to select cells A1 through A6. I do that by clicking and dragging the mouse. Now I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. So that's how I got the average. Now, if I wanted to get the average of only two cells, what I would do is say average of cell A1, then comma, I'm going to click on cell A5, now enter. So now I've got the average of the cells A1 and A5. Now, it's also worth noting that when you just click one of these cells once, the cell is not going to change. It's still going to look like a number. But up here, you have what's the, called the formula bar. So you're always going to see if there's a formula in a cell just by clicking over it. In addition, if you double click one of these cells, you can edit the formula that way. Also, you can see that once you have double clicked and gotten the formula, as long as your mouse cursor is in here, you're going to see the cell references visually. So cell A1 has a blue box around it and A5 has a green box around it. Now one way that I can change the cell references, say I want to have an average between cell A1 and A3, I can simply click the green box and drag it to cell A3. Now all I have to do is hit enter and the average function has changed to do the average of cell A1 and A3. The other way you can use formulas is to say reference a cell. So say I want this cell, C4, to be equal to cell A2. I put the equal sign, click cell A2, and hit enter. Now, whatever is in cell A2 is going to appear in cell C4. So if I change 32 to 46, cell C4 is now 46. You can also multiply cells together, or you can times a number by a cell. So say I want to get half of cell A2. I do the equal sign, click cell A2, then the multiplication symbol, which is shift, and then the number 8, and now I'm going to do 0.5 for half. Hit enter, and this cell now will always have half of the number in cell A2. So when I change A2 to 20, you see now these cells have changed accordingly. C3 is 10 for half of 20 and C4 is 20 because it references cell A2. Now this is a really simple example but I'm gonna show you one reason that 
this becomes more important. On sheet one, I have a sample income statement here. How it works out is here you have units sold, selling price of the unit, and then the and then the income statement here with net income at the bottom. Now through formulas I've linked all of these numbers. So if you notice now net income is negative 125,775. However, if I change units sold from 1800 to 11,800, net income is now 150,475. That's because all of these cells reference each other all the way up to the top here. So unit sold is a number, selling price per unit is a number, but then sales starts as a function. You can see B1 times B2, and then variable costs, 50% of the sales, fixed cost is a number because it's fixed, and then it continues on. So because of formulas and functions, I'm able to change the net income immediately by changing the unit sold. So that's a good introduction to formulas and functions and why they are very useful in Excel.